Hey gamers, I'm Cybersnake7, how are you all doing guys? Yes, back in the old games room after an epic weekend in Blackpool. Obviously a majority of you are going to know what I'm talking about, the Play Expo at Norbrook Castle. Um, absolutely fantastic venue, nice to go to somewhere new as well. Uh, being obviously going to the Manchester gig for the last couple of years, it's nice to go back to where it originated from in Blackpool. Uh, I wasn't disappointed at all. Um, so obviously went Friday. Um, and then stayed up Saturday and went home on Sunday morning um, but obviously the way it worked out was uh, me and Dave had planned this meticulously so the guy was whacking on my door at 10.30 just gone on Friday morning so he popped in um, and then obviously showed him the game set up um, and we've done a bit of filming it's going to be an epic like, kind of road movie, trip movie on the way down to Blackpool all will be revealed also with a massive pickup video uh, but I've been hijacked to Dave's channel uh, so you won't be seeing any pickups on this uh, channel from Blackpool they're all going to be on Dave's channel so if you like what you see where I've got come back do subscribe and keep on watching guys shameless plug but who cares but anyway Dave picked me up road trip down there got down there about five o'clock on Friday um, and then checked in and then we got to the bar and there was the familiar faces from who I've seen before anyway uh, the likes of obviously Daz, Conus Deloro um, and a few other guys I'm not going to go too into names at the moment because I've got a list as long as my arm down there so I'm going to try and mention you all um, so there's new and old faces uh, which we sat down with um, and had a drink with um, just a casual night on the Friday to be honest with you just to get used to the idea of being there and having a chat about the weekend ahead and things like that so that was just just a great in itself obviously seeing uh, old faces and new faces you know getting introduced and that that's what it's all about to me going down there just to meet people you know I watch enough of you guys see you on your channels and just to get down and see you face to face and have a chat with you and have a beer with you is that is the experience for me that is the way it should be and I'm looking forward to more North Manchester, see you guys in Wolverhampton as well this year for revival. But anyway, as I say, Friday not quite one really. Uh, me and Dave got um, we we just like had a few beers, left it at that um, because we knew we had a long day on Saturday. So technically, we hit the sack on Friday night at local light, and I was up at the crack of dawn just before six o'clock, um, and I was out the door at the shop getting money. Uh, prepare myself to spend far too much money on the day but that's what it's all about um, and by the time I got back day was ready so we went for breakfast we was up early we was waiting to get in there so by the time we'd had our breakfast and we was walking out the door everybody decided to walk in so we knew it was early um, and then once we'd had breakfast popped upstairs got our kit for the day and then straight down looking to where to queue now obviously when we first got downstairs because he's literally come downstairs from our hotel room and the, the hall was right in front of us which was an absolute bonus but anyway the, we found an exit or I keep on saying an exit an entrance um, where we assumed we was going to have to queue up to get in now one of the guys said to us yeah stay there That's, this is where you're going to be going in so I thought fair enough so me and Dave a couple of chairs sat down got the old game boys out and obviously Paul Padley, uh, Bradley Prize I was playing that a couple of NES games on there for about half an hour and then somebody decided to come in and tell us sorry lads you don't queue here you got to go outside which was a bit weird and I thought okay fair enough so I said there ain't no separate queues for press passes like he goes no you all queue together simple as you all go in together and I thought oh, okay that's kind of weird but fair enough and we was first in line but when we got outside we weren't first in line so there's one guy in front of us but it was the same kid got on with him caught ball and then obviously from 8 o'clock onwards we stood there and then out come the hordes of the familiar faces but it's kind of weird because they didn't go past they just joined in front of us and we all huddled up into one big bunch at the front which is quite funny to be honest with you so um, as I say got to around 10.30 everybody was there you name it 16 Big Brothers they were in this little bunch uh, and then doors opened me and dad just run for it we, we'd go left everybody behind Straight to Control Passion and then we tried to annihilate it with whatever was goodness in the games, uh, what was there. 
uh, and I was pretty disappointed. Dave picked up a few um, really nice titles from there. Um, I eventually went back and picked up a couple of games which you're going to see in the video on Dave's channel. But um, as I say, um, yeah, picked up a couple of items there, but I didn't first thing. So I was pretty disappointed with console passions this year compared to Manchester because they had far more. Didn't have much in Master System for me, which I was pretty disappointed about. So um, obviously went from there and then went into the, the main entrance where obviously we went in, went to the entrance where we first queued up, couldn't get in there so we had to walk all the way down the hall and go into another entrance. Walked into the other entrance, it was one big hall full of obviously vendors and sellers and I think the setup was really really good the way they did it this year. Um, you had one hall for vendors and then the, obviously the other hall for the arcades and your... Um, consoles and you had a couple of vendors in the main hall obviously console passions being one of them and then the main stage for the competitions and things like that so anyway me and Dave scaring uh, Dave does his usual give me the best games you got I want them now so that was it this guy pulled out these boxes and Dave buried his head in this box for about half an hour I mean my, my hands can't go wide enough with the amount that he picked up so um, he was there for a good half an hour picking up what he's picked up and you ain't going to be disappointed because he's got some superb stuff as per usual as Retro Dave uh, and so I picked up a good few uh, cartridges for the NES because I've now started a NES collection not going to be as intense as my Super Nintendo they're the boxed babies they're going to stay boxed and complete that's the way that goes but the NES I'm going to go for obviously the rare titles the, ex the obscure titles and the, uh, the variants in labels because obviously I'm only getting them in cartridge form so I'm going to enjoy that so that's going to be a good collection to go uh, through eventually and I've got myself a ton of games already done deals and also bought from the actual place itself but that'll be in the pickup video so anyway um, as I say walk round got to the arcades, arcades are set up great brilliant arcade machines fantastic time playing them um, didn't really get to play much on the like, main like, console section um, because a lot of people went and played the Neo Geo and things like that and obviously all the classic arcade games and then there's a Virtual Boy there and I wish I'd have had a go of that because uh, Dave and uh, I think Daz uh, also went over and was playing that as well so that would have been interesting to play I never got to do that because I, I was really too much on the arcade machines to be honest I was really enjoying that but um, as I say let's go back um, and obviously what I said to you earlier on, the main reason I was down there, apart from buying the games, sucking up the atmosphere and meeting the people is the main thing for me. doesn't matter who you are, whether I spoke to you for five minutes or whether I sat down and had a beer with you and had a great conversation with you. I'm going to mention every single one of you and if I've missed somebody, I apologise. But there's the list and I'm going to go through it. Because uh, you're not going to get any pickups in this video. If I've got time, I've got two items I want to thank somebody for. Or should I say, thank two people for. So let's let's go for this. These are the people that I bumped into. So Raz, Sweet Gamma Raz. Disappointed with you, my friend. You was rat assed on Friday night. You should have gone home, got some kip and met the most of Saturday because you was in the queue. We exchanged gifts and I bought something off you obviously and I never seen you again all day long and apparently you went home because you were worse for wear and you missed half the day so I'm gutted about that so Manchester mate you're going to make up for it boy alright uh, Shock16 great to see you my friend as always you just make me laugh you're such a funny bloke um, Top Geezer uh, always a pleasure to see you mate Daz Cajonis Deloro um, always a pleasure again mate and this on top of my head is a gift from the man himself. I was playing an arcade machine and Dave mentioned, because I bought another hat which you've seen, you'll see in the pickup video, and, I, and Dave goes, oh I've seen this other hat, you're going to love it. I said, I've just bought one, I'm walking around with three hats hanging off me already. And anyway, left it at that. And I was playing an arcade machine and then Daz decides to put his hat in front of me as I'm playing. I think, what the hell? And he turned around and he bought me the hat. Oh, I couldn't believe what he'd done, bless him, but... Daz, thank you very much for this, mate. Absolute classic hat. It's going to be worn with pride, mate. And kept on the old ha uh, hat rack. But cheers for that, mate. Right, back to the list. Mix 36. 
Great to see you, Sherbet, and have a great, uh, had a beer with you for a change. Sat down and had a chat with you. Good couple of good couple of chats, mate. Uh, good to see you. Better than the five seconds I spoke to you in Manchester last year. Uh, Mark Holsborough, brilliant to see you. Superb, mate. Um, Richard Turner, obviously a pleasure. Um, Danny, Johnny, AD, great bunch of lads as per usual. Uh, had a good uh, kick ass on uh, Mortal Kombat, um, and then obviously. Daz, Honest Delora come on and started spam attacking everybody. Whoever was there, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Bless him, but he beat us and that was as simple as that. Spam attack. Bad boy. Uh, shame Roger couldn't be there. Love to have met him, but hopefully he'll be at Manchester next year. Uh, 90s video gamer dude. Hey man! Good to see you again, guy. Um, obviously first time I met you, but you know, I've seen you a couple of times, said hello and would have loved to talk to you a little bit more, mate. Uh, the fantastic Ocarina fella. Such a nice guy. Uh, very, very happy to have met him. Um, look forward to seeing you again, mate. Um, keep in contact with you, I promise. Um, Game Mad Ad. What a, what a chap. And I love his brother. He was this big... I mean, it's like everybody else, I think. Every, I, I, that's why my neck's hurting. Because I've got a bad neck. Because I'm doing this for about in 12 hours. Because there's that many people up above me because of that tall six foot plus I think there was only like Raz and Shock 16 I could actually make eye contact with to be honest but never mind but as I say game my dad top man glad you had a great weekend mate fantastic meeting you um, Gas Ed obviously James Monkey Spaz good to see you mate another tall fella uh, Chris Shank Woodling always a pleasure guys um, Retro Dave massive thanks to you mate weren't you I wouldn't have got there we wouldn't have had a fantastic weekend. Superb, mate. Um, got something planned for you, mate. All will be revealed. To UK, you big wind-up merchant. Great to see you, mate. Uh, Paul Bradley, as always, mate. Good, good man. Uh, the sainted Magnus, how can I forget him? You turned up out of the blue. Great to see you again, mate. I had seen you in a couple of years. I had a couple of phone calls, but good to see you face to face. Um, and then Craig's here again. Good to see a face to add to that voice that I see and you got some fantastic arcade machines mate one day I want to come and see them games so give me the invite mate I'll be there lock is shot um, another one that I didn't see disappointed not to see you Shenmue so I know you're supposed to have come down on Sunday with your missus but whether you turned up we'd have gone more then anyway so um, shame I've never seen you but um, absolutely fantastic to have met you but hopefully see you in Manchester next year but one more person, there's one more person, um, two more people actually, Retro Tom, how can I forget that guy, first time I met him, great lad, absolutely fantastic guy, um, got on with everybody and he inspired me to buy a new hat, so if you want to get rid of that hat you got with the Pac-Man on, send it my way mate, nice one. Um, and lastly, a guy I don't really know of, uh, he follows me on Instagram, uh, Peter Dickinson 1992. I don't know if you've got a YouTube uh, account, mate. If you have, PM me, send me a link, I'll, I'll subscribe to you. Really nice chap. Uh, he ended up buying a NES system and it was knackered. Uh, so that's that's bad. Uh, so I feel pretty bad for him uh, about that. But hopefully it gets all sorted out, mate. Um, but thanks for meeting to you. Uh, thanks for meeting you and thanks for you coming up to me and having a chat with me. Always a pleasure, mate. Hope to see you again. But if I've mentioned everybody great if i've missed somebody i apologize because there's so many people i met um, and so many people ask me the same question uh, if i'd have had a pain for every time people ask me i wouldn't have had to spend any money i'd have kept my money in the bank when's the next masters um, man versus master system coming i'm 10 games away from the first 50 guys um and another reason is i've been trying to uh, get some rarer titles and it's taking my time because they do cost money mate uh, people mates, friends, you know what I mean, they do cost money, so I've really got to take my time, so I'd give it about less than another month, and then you're going to have the first 50, and then I'll start on the next 50 after I've showed you them guys, so anyway, running out of time guys, got to say, fantastic weekend, absolutely fantastic guys, so good to meet you, so good to meet new faces, um, looking forward to seeing hopefully some of you down in Wolverhampton for the revival and Manchester. So please be there. So anyway, I am Cybersnake7. Keep playing. Keep watching.